Super Mario is one of the most popular video games in history. But did you know the name of the character was taken from the name of Mr. Mario Seagal, who was a landlord of Nintendo's first ever warehouse. You're listening to the Xbox Hub podcast, the official podcast of the xboxhub.com. For the latest Xbox news, reviews, videos, and opinions, make sure you visit the xboxhub.com. But for now, settle down, get comfy, and open your ears for some podcast delights. Hello, welcome to the Xbox Hub official podcast, episode number five. My name is Gareth Briley. I'll be your host today. And on my virtual left, as always, is Mr. Neil Watton. Hello, Neil. How you doing? All right. Very good. Thank you. And on my virtual right is Mr. James Burke. Oh. Hello. Burke. Burks. Right. Said your name wrong again. James Burks. James Burks. Hello. It's not on this. I'm sorry. It's... Better get it right next time. I will get it right. I will get it to right. To be fair to him, he's got it right for the last three attempts. But two out of five ain't great, is it? It's not good. No. No. Um, 60% success. No, it's our fifth. Is that like a special thing? Like if you had a wedding anniversary, what would the fifth be? Like paper? Or ice? Cho- chocolate. Chocolate? Ice. I don't know. Yeah. I'm thinking it would be ice. I'm yeah. thinking of X-Men again. Get an ice cream. <laughs> Happy ice anniversary, everyone. <laughs> there you go, Ooh. missus. Here's, here's some ice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, it's something, isn't it? Is it a special thing, or, should, or do we have a more special thing when we do ten? If we ever get that far? If we get that far, it's, yeah, we'll call it ten. Okay. Ten's the milestone. Yeah. Ten and then a hundred. Okay, lovely. Yeah. All right. Oh, hang on. No, it's wood. I've just Googled it. Ah, wood. Okay, I'll, 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 I was about to say, I'll give you some wood. But that sounds a bit weird. <laughs> We're not going to get into that. Um, so what have you been up. doing this week, chaps? What's been going on? Anything fun? On James? Not a lot, to be honest. Um, a lot of Netflix binging. Oh, yeah. Um, embracing all things Korean, as usual. Ah, any more words for us? Ooh, um, um, James has been learning Korean, so he's been giving us some um, a word a week, isn't he? So, just for people who have not joined yeah. us before. Um, Namja Payu, that means actor. Oh. Nam- you should say that one, Lusty. Can you say Nam-ja that again? Namja Pei. Nam Jampu. Sort of. Yeah. Not quite. <laughs> you need a bit of work on your pronunciation. Okay. But... Right. Good. I'll work we'll on that. that. Okay. That's good. So we, we know hello and we know actor. That'll yeah. get us far. Hello. Did we, actor. Didn't we learn? Was it goodbye we learned as well? No, that's the same as hello. Um, what was it? That's we'll, very confusing. We'll what, 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 what was the other word that you, you taught us? I can't remember. Was I, it? Was it thank you? I could have been. Thank you. Oh, thank it, you. What was that? Uh, comes to hand me down. Oh, that's it. Yeah, helps ah. to hand me down. That's yeah, the one. Know. <laughs> yeah. You should go around saying it in the streets. Bye. Uh, hello, actor. Thank you. <laughs> By episode 241, we'll be able to buy a train ticket. Fluently. <laughs> <laughs> um, what have you been Pretty doing? Good. What have you been doing, Neil? Anything fun? Um, I'm like, yeah, I would pretty good couple of weeks actually i went to the new spurs stadium following the saints around the country as i do ah. and um that's a nice place right obviously this is only re- of relevance to anyone that likes football but um they spent a lot of money on it and it looks bloody damn good it really is nice and how close is it to the old one is it a completely different area oh no 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 it's on the exact same ground is it um yeah i, I went i went Three years ago, four years ago, sorry, um, to Saints versus Spurs away game. And they'd knocked down half of the stadium. So one end of the stadium, the old White Hart Lane, had disappeared. And they were kind of building the new one into that, right. that ground. Yeah, yeah. So it was really weird then. But now they've finished it. I think they spent like 800 million quid on it. Yeah. Um, Everyone keeps it, talking it, about how amazing it is. Okay, yeah. It is really, really nice. and And they've got beer that fills up from the bottom of the cup and that's just like magic what do you mean crazy it just you know you know normally you you turn the beer tap on and the beer comes out and it ends up in your pint glass well this this one they've got special cups that got a valve on the bottom of them 
<gasps> and, the, oh. and the guy just slams that down on there, and the beer comes up from the bottom of the cup. I've never known anything like that. I've never heard I'm of that. Know. It, it's it's crazy. What? Uh, how much were they? Sorry, James. Yeah. I can't yeah, I'm not sure. Where. I think it was like four quid, something like that. Jeez. But I, 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 I think, yeah, but that's London prices, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Now that says a lot about me and kid. I went, oh my god, the wonder of it. You went, how much is it? <laughs> there are the two responses there. Yeah, it's Cindy Roast for a fiver. Yeah. <laughs> I, they, had, they had some brilliant food as well. Possibly the best sausage roll I've ever eaten. Wow. So if you get the chance to go to Tottenham Hotspur's new stadium, I, have I a really sausage roll. Yeah, go on, nasty. No. E- even the vegans out there. What was the score? Uh, two under Spurs. That's not bad. But, but, ten men. But, but that's fine. Yeah, they're ten men as well. Yeah. But but that doesn't matter because they lost seven two last night. They so did, hey, yeah. they did. We won't mention that one. Um, I this week have been watching a bit of Netflix. I've been watching a series called Top Boy, which is uh, it was a channel. It was on Channel Four about six seven years ago. Did two series about kind of like drug dealing and sort of like these kind of young drug dealers and about their kind of like almost like mafia. And then their dealings and how they kind of go up and murder and stuff. It was very good. It got acclaimed. And then Netflix had picked it up. And it's almost like six years later, so they're older. And it's, but it's beautifully done. But the one thing, me and my partner Bernadette were watching it. And she said, uh, I can't watch this as anymore because anymore, it's so depressing. And I said, why is it depressing? She goes, because it just, it's shot all around where we live. <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking, yeah, that is, that is a bit... Because everywhere where I live in South London is like all the sort of like crime or drug dealing areas is always filmed around here. And it isn't like that. But I was thinking, where do you live, Neil? Southampton. Well, just outside Southampton, just on the outskirts of the New Forest. Anything so that's I've, famous I've got, I've got pony, ponies and pigs and oh, cows right. and uh, things like that. But anything famous? Yeah. Um, I believe... The latest Star Wars, maybe not the latest oh. one, but the one before that, was filmed in like a big, uh, there's a big kind of power station down in a place called Forley, and there's a big unused area. And I believe they filmed that in there. Oh, wow. Star Wars and, and Mission Impossible, I believe, as well. This is pretty, this is, um, this is good. But, but other than that, it's just famous to be in the New Forest. Yes, yeah. I bet there's been lots of things in the New Forest as well over the years being filmed there I, I would think so horror films I, think so. I bet there's been a horror film with a new film. no no horror you don't have horror down here it's, it's just nice stuff <laughs> what about now where do you live James uh, Morecambe any films so this, yeah they filmed um, from the drama here called The Bay oh. it's about a murder yes um, it's quite depressing that's the difference well, between the north and the south isn't it it, it fits the town perfectly, really. <laughs> it's nice, Morecambe. It's That's the most nice. exciting thing, is that we film, we filmed a drama here about someone getting killed. That's, That's the work. best thing about Morecambe. Um, but, but you are close to Blackpool as well. That's a good thing about Morecambe. Yes. Obviously. That's your favourite place, isn't it, Neil? Yeah, I love Blackpool. Love Blackpool. He does love yeah. my, my, um, my experience of Blackpool is was, a, was two years ago. And I pulled up into a car park, got out of the car, walked as quickly as I could to McDonald's, walked as quickly as I could back to the car and then drove out. I was there about 20 minutes and uh, that, that, was me, that was me done. <laughs> but no, it wasn't that bad, James. Come on. Come on. We've got a lot of Blackpool listeners. I know that's our demographic. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It must have been Monday morning then. <laughs> I used to like the football team, man. I like the kit. Yeah, I like the kit as well. Yeah. Okay, let's... Um... Let's move on. We're going to now, every, every week for the last four weeks, we've done more questions. I've asked, I've asked James and I've asked Neil some questions to get a deeper understanding of who they are. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've got some more this week. Um, so we've got, we're going to have three questions, the same questions each. And then I've done some for James and I've done some for kids. Very quick fire ones. Are you ready, you two? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. yes you have. Okay. So, Neil, let's go with you first. You can do the okay. first three. Okay. You win the lottery, a hundred million pounds. What's yeah. the first thing you buy? Um, the very first thing. Yeah. Well, I would say a house, but are these might be quick fire. No, no, you can take your time with this. Okay, cool. I, I would say a house, and it, it 
it would be a house, but it takes a while to buy a house. So, as you can probably guess from previous episodes, I would buy a bike. (laughs) What kind of bike with your £100 million lottery win? Probably, and this would mean nothing to you, but probably a Trek Madone in in like pearlescent purple. I think they're about 12 grand. Is it gold? And no, it's purple. <laughs> right. I said it's purple. Oh, I thought it's made of gold. No. no. Okay. Uh, yeah, prob- probably one of those. Yeah. Okay. Because that would be easy to get hold of. Oh, I say easy. As easy as a 12 grand bike is to get hold of. Is that how much it is, 12 um, grand? I think they're about 12 wow. grand. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah. Wow, that's more than my car. That's depressing. I know. Um, okay, good. I like that. Your second question. What is the most useless thing you've ever bought? Oh, I've bought lots of useless things, mostly off of Kickstarter. <laughs> you like Kickstarter, I, do you? Yeah, I've got a Kickstarter drawer of things that that come. <laughs> I, I give them my money, then they, it comes through the door like eighteen months later, and it goes in this drawer and it never gets seen again. <laughs> so I've got like a, I've got a little Bluetooth controller that that you're meant to be able to play mobile games with. Ooh. I've never used that. Right. Um, I, I did buy some LifeX colour-changing light bulbs back in the day. That sounds good. Well, they were good, and they still are good, but um, they're bloody expensive for what they were at the time. Now <laughs> you can buy them down at B&Q. So, <laughs> yeah. so no, what... I think the, the worst thing, the most useless thing, is probably this, this Bluetooth controller thing and why is it useless because i never ever used it i never even never wanted to use it i i don't know why i put any money into the kickstarter <laughs> it might be the best thing ever it might be the new it's, rubik's cube i'm telling you it's not okay question three if you were stranded on a desert island and you could have only one item what would it be a bottle of water oh my god that's not gonna last you long well, it could be a big bottle. <laughs> it's going to last a bo- That's going to last. That's going to give you an extra two days of life. Um, a Chromebook. Ah, oh, there you go. Good. I'd have that Chromebook. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Lovely. Okay, James. I'm going to ask you those three questions, and then we'll go on. So the first one for you is: if you win the lottery, what's the first thing you would spend your 100 million pound on? It's a tough one. Mm. Um, I'd probably have to get a gold-plated Monopoly. <laughs> so are you gonna, oh, hold on, you're going to get a Monopoly board, a gold-plated Monopoly board? Yeah, yeah. Oh, to get be... my collection of Monopoly games. Have you got a lot of Monopoly games, have you? I have. Pokemon, Coronation oh, Street, Blackpool... Yeah. Morkham. Not Blackpool. No, I don't do placed ones. Oh, so you're not. expensive now. Um, my United. Ah. Uh, I've got right. a black pink one coming, which is a Korean pop group. Right. That's going to be good. That'd be very good. Um, so a gold-plated one would just be the icing on the cake, really. Do you know of a gold-plated edition Monopoly? I have seen one somewhere. Wow. A while ago, and I wanted it badly. But How much was it? Do you remember? It was definitely over a thousand pounds, but oh. not quite. Not much more than that. You could buy a couple, exactly. couldn't you? Really, you might as well. Yeah, one to play with and one to keep yeah. sealed. When you're winning that type of money, you might as well just have a couple. What I found, yeah. what I found out about you two, from which I really like, from the first question, is that you both are very happy with your lives. You just want a little upgrade on what you've already got, a tiny upgrade. Exactly. Hey, I didn't say a, a twelve grand bike was an upgrade. It might be a downgrade. You don't know. I don't know how much my bike cost. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, you're guessing right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. What, what can, can, uh, yeah. Before you go on, sorry, yeah. can you tell me more about this main item Monopoly, please, James? Oh. Um, well, it's quite old now, but it, it, it had Beckham on it. And so each each street is a player, is that correct? Player. Yeah. Okay, and who's yeah. Mayfair? And who's Park Lane? And who's... Oh, it's uh, quite old. Old Park Lane. I haven't played it in a long time. But I think, given the time period, I think it was from this to right. All right. And he was Mayfair. I know yeah. Kent Rowe was someone like 
dumb fun gig. I don't think I'll be on. That would make something terrible. Well, that would be good, wouldn't it? Okay. If you were stranded on a desert island... No, what is the most useless thing you've ever bought? How long have you got? <laughs> give, us a, give us your top one. He's the house full 4. of them. What is it again? PlayStation, PlayStation 4. <gasps> wow. Really? It was, a, it was an idea that I'd play Spider-Man one day, so I got a PlayStation. I, I've touched it for over an hour. And I played a, a free game for that one hour. And that is it. And why is that? Because you've got your... Is it because Xbox just, wins. For you, yeah. It's just Xbox all the time for me. Okay. I'm no time for PlayStation. Is that just because of achievements? Mostly because of achievements? Yeah, and the controller is super oh, well, nice. Yeah. yeah. It's really annoying on the PlayStation. Um, well, other than that, I've got loads of useless shit. So sorry. Um, <laughs> it's all right. That collectibles got all, which is useless to most of you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, tons of stuff. No, Gareth, you've got a PlayStation, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Or, or you still use it or not? Well, I haven't used it for a while, but I've got to get it going again because it's um, um, Death Stranding. I think I'll get that in November. Oh, uh, you spoke and, about that before. And yeah. I've and next year, so it's hard. I've only done it for the things like God of War, the exclusives, but I haven't played it a much because we're always on Xbox. Um, and we've got a whole. It's all of us. We have a little community of people on Xbox. I haven't got that on PlayStation at all. So yeah, that's the only. I, I keep I keep thinking about buying one just for like the VR. Yeah. There's a lot of money in it just to mess around with VR. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, I like it though. I do like the games though. The God of War was brilliant. Um, the Her- Zero Horizon, whatever it's called, that was great. The Last of Us, of course. Yeah. So it's it's just yeah, it's just been. And you you played Spider Man? Yeah, Spider Man's brilliant. Really Tell good. James how amazing it is. And we've said this to him a thousand I've times. Before. I've <laughs> he's had it. He's, he's... Okay, third question. If you were stranded on a desert island, you can only have one item. What would it be? Um, an iPod. Oh. An... So at least I keep entertaining with music. That is a good. That's really good. So I don't go mad. That's very good. I like that a lot. Okay. You'd have to use iTunes, though, wouldn't you? That's a downside. That is a massive downside. Don't, yeah. don't diss my Probably hack it. Hack it could you not, around, could you not like, get an old Microsoft Zune? Use one of them. <laughs> I don't know what one of them is. <laughs> you probably weren't even born, James, to be honest. No. <laughs> they, were, they were rubbish. <laughs> they were rubbish. Yeah. I, like, I like you bringing it up again, though. Give it a bit of a shout-out. <laughs> well, we've been talking PlayStation. We need to get back on the other side. <laughs> we do, yeah. All right, Neil, these are your... These are things, would you rather, questions, right? Uh, okay. That's one answer, ready? Would you rather visit the moon or go on an all expenses paid vacation anywhere on Earth? I'd rather visit the moon. Nice. Who wouldn't? I know, well, some people wouldn't. Would well, you... we'll find out if you ask James in a minute, I'm sure. Well, he's going to have different ones to you. Oh, okay. Would you rather take a guaranteed £100,000 or... A 50-50 chance at a million. Um, I, I'd probably go with 100 grand, to be honest. Yeah, I would, yeah. I think. That's a good question. Yeah. Would you rather sell all your possessions or sell one of your organs? Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's one or the other. I was, I was kind of hoping it would be. Would you rather sell all your possessions or some of your family? But... <laughs> <laughs> Which you would have gone straight away. Yeah, I know exactly. Yeah. No decision there, is there? No. Um, <laughs> I, 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 oh, I don't know. To be honest, I really don't know. I probably all of my possessions. Yeah, I'd get rid of them. Yeah, I might go yeah. for it. Depends, it depends if. If I'm selling the organ for good, or if I'm just selling it for a bit of cash, it is yeah. just for like 50 quid, yeah, well, I wouldn't bother. Yeah. Okay. Good. All mm-hmm. right. That's very good. James, here we go. Yeah. Would you rather have x-ray vision or bionic hearing? X-ray vision. X-ray vision. Good. Definitely. I think you're right. Um, would you rather be itchy or sticky for the rest of your life? Oh, itchy, sticky sounds. Itchy. So you want to be itchy? 
That'd be annoying. That became though. a sticky. Sticky. What about a sticky itchy or Ooh. an itchy sticky? Oh, you don't know. that. Which would be worse? <laughs> sticky itchy. I don't you know reckon? why. <laughs> okay, last one. Would you rather be a master of every musical instrument or be fluent in every language? Fluent in every language. Yeah. Definitely. I don't know. But only definitely. really two, eh? That's all you're worried about, isn't it? English yeah. and Korean. Yeah. And I think I think we can do a bit of help with English. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Right, that's that's it. I'm get, I'm building this sort of profile like like a serial killer, like I said last time. Both I'm, of you. I'm worried about mine. I'm worried about both of you. Long vibes. Yeah. I think we I think we need to move on. We need to move on to oh, games. I wanna I wanna know your answers to the first three oh, questions. Yeah, let me do the first three. First thing I would buy would be a Tesla electric car. Because I really want one of those, one of the super new ones. I've, I really I've kind of car. looked at them recently. Yeah, no, they're really good. I went in one. My friend had one, and he did the naught to sixty in two seconds, and it was oh, the yeah, yeah. maddest thing I've ever done. And it's like yeah. being on a rocket ship. And the most useless thing I've ever ever bought is um, <laughs> a, a pair of sunglasses. Um, that the frames popped out of, but I spent twenty quid on them, but I didn't look at them properly. The moment I put them on, both the frames fell out, <laughs> and that was on holiday. I got conned there. So I, you paid twenty quid while on holiday for yeah, a pair of sunglasses. sunglasses yeah. well, even if it had lenses, you would have been conned. <laughs> they literally, I put them on on the beach, and they just popped off, like, just straight onto my lap. Unbelievable. <laughs> And if I was stranded on a desert island and you could only have one item, what would it be? I would take... Um, I was going to go for iPod as well. Okay. I think it's good to have music. It would be amazing. What would you have on there now? Enya. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> on repeat? Yeah, on repeat. Or just on loop? Just one album of it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No. No, that would be crazy. I like classical yeah. music. I'm, you, you both hate classical music. I love classical music. So, yeah. I've, uh, I when have I ever said well, I you hate said classical that when we played a game before. You, the classical track came on Forza. You said, I hate it. That, that station. On Forza oh, well, 3. If I've got the choice, I'm not going to listen to it. But I wouldn't <laughs> say I hate it. All right. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> okay. It's no punk rock, is it? No, it isn't punk rock. No. Okay, yeah. Right, I'm going to move us on. We've got to, we've got to move on. We've, we haven't talked about games yet. It's 22 minutes. Games? Yeah. Not games. What games? What have you been playing we this week? We mentioned Spider Man. We did miss Spider Man, yeah. And the yeah. PlayStation. What have you been playing, Neil? Anything fun? Anything interesting? Um, I've, I've been playing a lot of Trials Fusion. Trials Fusion? Not Trials Fusion. Trials Rising. Oh. Or is it Trials Fusion? No, it's Trials Fusion. Trials, Trials, Trials Rising. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, they've just recently released um, the Crash and Sunburn expansion. So I thought I'd take a little look at that. And I'm just kind of working my way through the whole thing. And I've been pleasantly surprised. I kind of got bored of Trials um, a few years ago because my idea, my, my ideal Trials game is a load of easy tracks, a few medium tracks, and absolutely no hard tracks or anything like that because they yeah, just yeah. annoy me. Yeah. And so I've really enjoyed just kind of kicking on from the start and there's loads of content in it. Oh, that's good. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. It looks good. It plays really well. And where and, uh, is it sort of set? Is it is it a location well, or different places? The, it's all over the place. They they send you to different events all all across the world. You've got a world map, and so some events are in the Americas and Africa and all over the place. Um, but you've got the Route sixty six expansion, which is obviously Route sixty six based, um, very American with American themes and a bit of a vibe. Right. Then you've got this crash and sunburn, which is set around the equator. Um, it's got some really, really nice ideas, and I'm enjoying it but, very but much. Have so. you got to a point which I got to with all those trial games, when it just became, I thought, what am I doing in my life? Well, and when I you get, get to the hard levels, yeah. You just think, attempt number 151, yeah. and you've done like 10 yards. I haven't got that far, so yeah, I've, I've gone through all the easy stuff. Um, I've gone through a lot of the medium, and the medium is fine for me. Mm. I, I can put up with kind of a couple of fails and a couple of drops, 
But then, yeah, when it gets to the hard, I think I'll probably say, sod this, I've had enough. Yeah. Uh, but no, as a as a general game and whatever, it's, it's been good fun. I've enjoyed it. Is that is that yeah. they out now, are they, those DLCs? Uh, well, yeah, the, the 66 one came, came out a good maybe four or five months ago, maybe even longer. Um, and then Crash and Sunburn came out maybe a month back. Something like that. Oh, okay. Uh, but oh. like I say, there's so much content in there. Yeah. Tons of it. Yeah. A lot of customization, a lot of um, opening boxes that they give you. And I'm not bothered by that. I just want to get onto the track and mm, yeah. do an endo and a wheelie and spin upside down and stuff. But um, yeah, it's cool. Be enjoying it. Oh, I just, I, I'm tempted, but I just don't know if I can handle that moment again. I, I think it's pretty cheap as well, though. I think it's Is only it? like... Like 20 25 quid for the base game okay um the, the thing is i'm playing because i've got i've got the gold edition so i'm playing all of it and it's all kind of mixed in together and i don't right. really know what what is crash and sunburn and which is 66 and which is the base stuff so right. whether you would get bored of it quicker with just the base game i don't know i'm not sure yeah yeah uh, but but yeah it's, it's not overly expensive so if you like trials before then um, Ryzen's a decent shot. Okay, okay, good. Yeah. Um, James, um, anything of note you've been playing? Yeah, the main one's been FIFA. FIFA 20. FIFA 20. I've never heard of this that? franchise. Tell me about it. Can you, sh- can you shout at me in about 20 minutes when you're done? <laughs> Just go have a little sleep. It's your favourite game, yeah, Neil. Uh, Christ, I, I, Christ, I love football. I'm a season ticket holder. I go home and away. But FIFA does my head in. I'm, I'm the opposite. I hate football at the moment, but I love the game. <laughs> <laughs> I play the game all day, all night. And you're reviewing it for us, aren't you? That yeah. Lots of games. It's, it's a lot of the same. You can't deny every year it's going to be quite similar. Um, but they brought in, is it Volta football? Like oh, street yeah. football. Yeah. And it, it's like FIFA Street used to be, but not quite as exciting. Right. Um, and they tried to make it into a story like the journey was. But Have they not missed... got the journey? No, that's completely gone now. Okay. Um, this has replaced it. Um, but it's a single player story. And you think with a game mode where you show off in that, you think it'd be online. You know, like an online yeah, mode yeah. you and can it, show it, off with your mates. And there's no online at all for it? Not with Volta, no. It's just a story, really. And what's the and story like? Play. What are you? It's, a quite, kind of... it's quite cringy. Is it? <laughs> you're doing a group of street footballers. Yeah. Um, and apparently these people, at least one of them, is a well-known street footballer. Right. I've never heard of him, but I'll take the word for it. Um, and you just have to prove yourself. Is one of them called yeah. Baz? I don't think there's one called Baz, no. <laughs> Dad. I, I wonder if one of those are called Baz. No, oh, Baz or Dave. No. There's got to be a Steve. Is it, is it a Peter? Oh. Um, can't right. be the rest. Right. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just about joining the team, taking the team to the, the finals and winning. It's the usual story. Yeah. Underdogs rising up. Um, that's the main new thing. Yes. Uh, and all my teams changed a bit. I know you've been quite addicted to all my teams. I have this year, which I never normally have. I really got into it. I, it's uh, they they've done that season thing that everyone does, like with the Rocket League, like PUBG, all those things. The objectives, yeah, objectives, and I, that's got mm-hmm. me really hooked. I really enjoy myself with it. It's quite good. Something to work towards, isn't it? Yeah, and you're like getting loads things. of packs and lots of bonuses. Yeah, it's it's, what, it's really good. That. What's the best play you've had so far in the pack? I had um, the Barcelona Suarez, yeah. Ah, which I really sold, Suarez. Yeah, which I sold Shame. for a lot of money. Yeah. Uh-huh. Did, did you sell them straight away? Yeah. Yeah, oh, good. Um, Standard. That's ninety-five grand. 95 and what did you do with that ninety-five grand? I bought um, Tom Cleverly. <laughs> <laughs> For 95 uh, grand, I'm, I went over uh, the odds, I know, but uh, I was quite keen on him. 
Christ. Got to be very keen on Tom Cleverley to spend 95 grand on him. The worst thing is he actually got Harry Winks. I did get Harry He's Winks. He's still just too bad. I haven't got, I haven't, I haven't spent well. I, I do admit that. Definitely not. How, what's, what do your teams look like then? I, I'd need to know now because, well. We're not, we, don't, we can't list a team now, can we? No, what are they? Like Premier League teams? Yeah, I've, gone for, or teams? I've gone for Premiership. Yeah, Gareth's yeah. copied me. Yeah. I was just got Premier League. Yeah. Um, my team's a lot worse than Gareth's. I've beat him a few times, though. I think. He has beaten Just a couple. Times. Every time, I think so, bro. Has he not beaten you yet? No, not no. yet. It's all right. I, I had Welbeck up front, and he had um, Bardi and David Silver. Oh, it's a work in progress. Having, having Welbeck's a good thing, though, surely, James, because I remember you telling me many years ago, while he was still at United, how great he was. Arsenal ruined him. Oh, OK, OK. <laughs> Bloody Arsenal. <laughs> Must have been that. Arsenal had his injuries. And, and then we ruined uh, Sanchez. Yeah. <laughs> to, to be fair, he's pretty ruined anyway. But it's yeah. it's a good. Have you have you finished the review yet? You haven't, you'll, you'll be no, good soon. So yeah, it's it's the same, isn't it? It's yeah. good. It's good. Little tweaks here and there. But you know, there's still lots. Of, I mean, James loves this, but I hate it. It's still too many people just doing tricks all the time. So you're playing someone who's just flipping it around across the head. Like from the defense, the the yeah, James, that does James, that. and that's that's uh, that's annoying. Is it is it like Phil Jones doing a, a trick as well? Yeah, or is it, anyway. or is it like the the really technical players, or is it just any yeah, old player any old doing a trick? Player. Anyway. I played someone, they just had the average team, and they're just doing it all the time. Yeah, really. Yeah, so that's the only annoying bit. And yes. you know, if they're doing it now, by sort of four months down the line, it's just going to get worse. It's <laughs> the only thing. But I still like it. We still play it more than any other game. So yeah, it's got it's got us. It's got yeah. us. How how does it, I know you haven't put your review out yet, James? But how does it compare with Pez? Because you reviewed that and you seem to like that. Games. It's real football, but it's it's like Call of Duty and Battlefield. One's more realistic yeah, okay. and one's more fun. Yeah. But sh- should it not always be the fun one that you want to play? Yeah, but the fun one can be very annoying because it's not realistic enough and anything can happen and it's not always in a good way. Um, But it's each to their own. If you like having fun and messing about with your mates, FIFA's definitely the better one. Yeah, on the line stuff is... is, I I don't like fun and I don't have mates, so (laughs) I'll keep away. Yeah. It's understandable. I, I just want to pass the ball across the back four, left back to the yeah, get back, to the next centre back to the right back, that, and that back again. Yeah, yeah. that's how I want to play. Yeah. That's Pez for Neil. Um, I've Great. been playing Greedful, um, which I put up on the last, on the site as a review. Um, and Greedful was a game I was really interested in. We talked about it on the on this podcast before. And I've got hold of it, and I was I was really I was surprised. It's it was it's like an old fashioned RPG, and you play this. It's sort of like based on the look of it, sort of seventeenth century Europe, but it has its own kind of completely different world and different laws, and there's magic involved. But that's the kind of look of the place. So you kind of look like an aristocrat who you play, and then you there's a disease that's killing everyone in this world. And your job is to go to this island, and you go and sail off to this island um, with this um, guy who's going to be governor there. And you go to this island, and you're you're basically trying to find a cure. But of course, with every RPG, you're going off on a thousand quests. You have companions um, with you, and uh, and I guess you get distracted by a million other side quests. Exactly, as well. yeah. And I just, yeah. I've, I've when I did a review, you know, I did loads of hours. And I stopped for a little bit now, which is a little bit of a shame because, like, when we normally, when we have to review normally, we normally do what we need to do and then we switch on to another one, don't we? Especially on the yeah, other yeah. ones. And it's like, but I really want to go back, which is a good thing. I keep thinking about it today, God, I've got to go back there. Because there's bits of it that look beautiful, 
absolutely stunning some of those locations but it's even though it's open world it's still quite linear it still takes you through that sort of thing it reminds me very much of like a dragon age origins oh yeah those games um really feels very familiar to that in its if, kind of structure if you go back now if you if or maybe not now but if you don't play it for two or three weeks and then you go back are you just going to sit there for the first five minutes and think what the bloody hell am i meant to be doing now no it's quite good actually this one it, it's it right, really, it? yeah it's not as bad as so i've done either of, i mean i remember doing skyrim and i took a massive gap in skyrim you know it was like i i, I did sort of like you know 20 hours and maybe i was off doing something else for three months came back and i sort of loaded the game up i remember i was just sort of standing in the middle of a field sort of like with a sword going looking around going, what the bloody hell what am i doing here no idea i don't know what, what you're doing. doing for three months three months <laughs> I think my Xbox had James a ring of death. Are, James don't go three hours without playing a game. <laughs> I think <laughs> I had true. a ring of death. That's what happened. I had to go oh, and send okay. it off. Yeah, yeah. I remember it was just completely weird. I was like, hey, who's this? Why am I here? But that was so open world. This one's much more sort of funneled about what you need to do. You know, it has a little quest line and, you know, you can go here and go there. Yeah. yeah what did you give it in your review? I gave it four. Four out of five. Cool. Um, some people are going to hate it. You know, it has a... it's. But the story's really good. It's really clever, and also you, you can you can play the whole game and just try to get out of fighting everyone and just do it as a talk your way out of stuff. You can play it stealthily, okay. and I've got a sort of mixture of fighting and, and sort of talking, get my charisma up, and doing the sort of like trying to what's the word be a negotiator um, in that in that tent yeah. in that attempt. So that's that's going to play for one doing. But yeah, it's great. It's great. Really good. And it's worth. Is it? It's, it's normal big budget price, isn't it? Fifty quid, yeah. something like that. I think. Is it worth a, that? I think if you're an RPG fan and you like the games I was talking about, I think you'll definitely have a lot of fun with it. If you really like Dragon Age Origins, if you really like Mass Effect, even, which it reminds me of as well, because it's that kind of Bioware kind of type thing, I think it's definitely worth a worth a go. I'll just wait for Game Pass. <sighs> It'll come on there eventually. Yeah, it will do. Yeah. You can't just wait for Game Pass for everything. <laughs> well, you can. It seems like you can. You can. You can. What's the Game Pass from? Is it from today? Uh, from today. World it, War no, Z. tomorrow. It's oh. done tomorrow. Oh. When's World, World War Z? Z? Next week. Looking forward to that. I don't yeah. know why. What's the line up? What's right? the line up this month then? Good um, ones. There's You Can Own Me. The first one. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's in time um, for the later. Exactly. Release. That's great timing, that is. It's, it's, it's funny it. how they do it, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's like the new. Yeah. Um, Fallout New Vegas. I've not played that one. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. On the, yeah. That's a 360 title, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not bothered Panzer, by that. Panzer Dragoon. And That's an OG <laughs> title. I'm not bothered by that either. <laughs> no. Um, Felix the Reaper. Oh, that's What's new, that? isn't it? That's meant to be, yeah. That's a new I game, isn't it? I don't know who wrote that one. It, it sounds I've, interesting, though. I've heard of it, um, only, s- I think, through, like, pe- Press Plus and we stuff like that. We saw quite a bit of it at the um, E3. That was one of their big... Hu- the Did we? Yeah, I think they were showing that quite a bit there. It's a comedy puzzler, isn't it? I yeah. Look, remind me of that I one. Of right. And what's the one tomorrow again, sorry? Dishonored 2. Oh, that's very good. That's brilliant. I think I might have done that one. Reviewed that one. It's a great selection. Yeah, and also you've got The Outer Wilds as well, which is a new one, isn't it? At the end of the month. When's that? Outer, Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds. The Outer is Worlds. That come, that's 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 not coming with Bear Grylls. Is, is that kind of Game Pass? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, definitely. Uh-huh. Mm. That's uh, October. definitely means not really, probably not. <laughs> it's October the 20th. <laughs> I'm going to give a date, October the 26th. <laughs> Outer, the Outer Wilds was just, Bear Just talk amongst yourselves while we all Google. And uh, the Outer Wilds Xbox Game Pass. And is Gareth talking rubbish? I think he uh, definitely is. Am I he, he's bloody right he's as well. He's bloody right. The first time for everything. Wow. Nice. Yeah, that's a big one. First time in 45 years. <laughs> he's been right. 45? 45. 45. I'm doing favour there. Yeah. 55. Yeah, thirty-one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's from um, Obsidian, so they're a Microsoft Studios developer, aren't they? So. Yeah, mm-hmm. that'd be why. Yeah, 
Yeah, that looks very good. That's really yeah, it does. Oh, that's good. Um, what else have you? What else have you caught your eye? Anything, Neil? Um, well, kind of the exact opposite from Game Pass. You've got Games of Gold. Yes. Mm. And, uh, yeah, oh. Games of Gold. Boo. <laughs> Why? Why? What, what used to be the best kind of um, what is it subscription bonus type thing ever yeah. is just kind of dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping and I, I know we occasionally get a decent game but what have we got this this week I can't even remember what it was um, Tembo Tembo I like Tembo that's that's but when Tembo the badass badass elephant is the standout game and by a long a long way <laughs> by a long way yeah <laughs> Um, you know something's not quite right. No. Disney Belt. Old well, game. A good film. To play. <laughs> the film was terrible. Not alone the game. <laughs> but I think I think the problem is, isn't it? It's you know again, it's Game Pass, isn't it? It's taken over from that because I, I'll be really honest, I don't even look at Games of Gold anymore. Yeah. And I uh, it's, I, I, but I will look at Game Pass. I mean, I know a lot of people haven't got Game Pass, so it's still good to have. They, they need to still keep that. But they've had a few things, haven't they? The last one, they had the Forza game, didn't they, as one of them recently? They've had Forza Horizon 2 um, a couple of years ago, and that's amazing. Forza 6. Um, six yeah. Forza 6, so they've had Hitman. Yeah. Then that was on Game Pass, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? I think yeah. before. So what, what you need to do, really, I think if you buy an Xbox... You don't have to just look at it and say, right, here's 300 quid for the console. You also have to say, right, here's 300 plus. I have to have Game Pass. Yeah. You, you, that, I, I don't understand why you would be having, why you'd be playing on Xbox without having a Game Pass subscription. It just makes no sense now. Yeah. And, and this is coming from somebody who absolutely slated it when it first came out because it was okay. full of 360 games. Mm-hmm. It's, and I couldn't see the, the reasoning behind it. Yeah. But since since they started debuting Microsoft Studios titles, you know, like Crackdown Free and um, Crackdown Free and the others that I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, we had um, we had uh, you know we've had it already this month. I mean, with Blair Witch, we talked about that was that was in there. Yeah, oh, yeah, Sea of Thieves as well. Yeah. back in the day, even though it didn't gears. do what it gears. was going to do. Gears, yeah, yeah, gears. That's amazing. It, it's like I said before, it's now a no brainer, isn't it? And also, it, especially when. I think with Microsoft, when they announced how many studios they bought out, you know, at E3, it was like, we own these studios now. Yeah. And that's, for, for the Game Pass, that's really exciting. Because you just go, oh, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but in a way, do you think they bought them or took them on, took them under their wing just so they could fill the Game Pass? Yeah, I think that's probably, I in my head, I think that's probably part of their plan. I think their Game Pass is going to be I mean, I think, you know, we talked about this last week a little bit. I think it's trying to get it, you know, you're getting everything from in, in the console. Yeah. You know, yeah, you've got to think of it as one big package. Yeah. You? Mm-hmm. You're not going out shopping. You've got everything here. And yeah. that price will probably go up. <laughs> you know, there might be different <laughs> packages coming out for certain things. Might at be. Some point. Might yeah. Be. But, yeah. But, you know. Do you, do you think all games should be on there? If it was a, a higher price, say, I don't know, 20 quid a month? How I'd, much is it now? I'd pay that. It's only about three quid a month, isn't it? And I, I could have every game. Ten quid. How, how much is it? I can't remember how much, how much it is. Six quid a month, is it? Seven quid a month? I thought it was ten quid for the ultimate. I'm not sure what it is for... I haven't got the ultimate. Just game pass. Okay, okay. So whatever it is, should we, if we double it... Double it, yeah. And put every single game that releases... On there, yeah. How would you then? Because you know they like to take stuff out to keep it all fresh yeah. and whatever. Yeah, right, Netflix would, do it. Stuff goes on there and then it goes off. Mm. Yeah, every so often. But I think they need to give people a fair warning. They don't give a lot of warning at the moment, do they? No. Is it about a month. And they don't make much noise about it either. They tend no. to. It really quietly. Yeah. Maybe that's where we should come in. Yeah. Oh, I think we do. Don't we? Maybe we do. <laughs> Maybe we do. 
I think we do. Um, yeah. yeah, that's really good. I think but, I would. I'd rather just pay a whole lot of money and get everything I wanted. But yeah. but then we talk about you know the issue of people buying games, trading in, all that stuff. You know, that's what people still to, do. Along those lines, would you also when when the the new Xbox comes out? Yeah. Would you also consider paying up front for everything? So paying a thousand pounds and then you get access to everything for the rest of the generation. Wow. That's it's yeah. a risky one, that. I would, think it, would it, probably, I would think it would probably be more than a thousand pounds, to be honest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I you can just imagine it. You. you get the first hair though. And then Microsoft will go, yeah, that's it. We're not making any more games now. We've got Thanks for the cash. Yeah. We're out. <laughs> no, I, 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 think, I think there's a few companies in this world you can trust to keep something going. Yeah. And I think yeah, the Xbox brand is big enough to keep going forever, isn't it? No matter how much money they take. They're not going to see some... Mm-hmm. They're not going to see some kid from Morecambe spending their grand on an Xbox and then they say, oh, we got his cash, let's run. They're, I mean, they're going to keep going. It wouldn't be unheard of. <laughs> Maybe not the next one. It'd be Michael Hoft. Michael Hoft. Um, who wants your yeah. grand? <laughs> you can have everything. Yeah, that's all right. Although you would probably get the, the, the PlayStation side of the gamers saying, oh, look, our, our console is only 300 quid and you're spending yeah, yeah. 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 quid or whatever on yeah, one. Well, that's but- going to happen, isn't it? They, they wouldn't look at the details, would they? That's the problem. Yeah. Well, this 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 is a really good link to what I was going to talk about now. You see, Neil. Well, done, that's, you, that's that's why we did it. You've yeah, done brilliantly here. Because I, I don't know what the hell you're going to mention. Now. <laughs> there was a massive rumor out today about you know as we're going to get loads of little leaked documents and leaked rumors that obviously might not be true, and it's about the PS5 because it's been the PlayStation kind of week and. But and it's got a code name. It's called Prospero, and that was the things. But the biggest thing. Cool about, Sorry, I've missed this. So. Prospero mm-hmm. is the, is the, what it's meant to be called. The sort of working title of it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but the biggest thing about this leaked document that said was that the PlayStation Five and the Xbox, whatever that's called, the new one, the new generation, Scarlet, one, Scarlet, will have an inbuilt camera for streaming. So at the moment, I stream. I do some let's plays, and so so you Neil for for the YouTube channel. I I do the odd one, yeah. yeah. And, most uh, and mostly leave it to you though, because yeah. well, you like to be on camera and I stuff. I love don't to you? be on camera. I'm on camera now for no reason. No, I'm not. And, it, <laughs> and it, but I have to have, of course, like if you do it, you have a little. I've got a little webcam that I put on a, on a, on a tripod, and it it goes through the Xbox and it goes through Mixer. Twitch is hard. I can't use a webcam through the Xbox on Twitch. You can do it through PC, but it, and even when the webcam, when I had a problem with the webcam, even though the Xbox recommends this is the type of brand you have to watch. When I got hold of the manufacturers, they went, "Yeah, you can't use that with Xbox." We that. So, <laughs> so it's it makes sense. I think from that's a, I think that's a rumor that I think will probably be true that it would be in, built in there. Uh, like um, connect, can I just say sense. one word? Yeah, connect. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, I I loved connect. You loved connect. I too. still love connect. I, yeah. I I'm still gutted now that Sorry. connect was pushed to one side and mm. people hated it, but it it was amazing. And so why why now is there a place for a, a camera, but there wasn't then? Is it, is it just because we've moved on? I think because the streaming's moved. So it's become bigger than when, when that console came out. The streaming was in 2013-14, probably a bit more PC, but it wasn't into the console market like it is now, as big as it is now. And yeah. I think they've sort of gone, okay, we can make this. You know, I think I absolutely agree with you. But I think, of course, I think it won't be as, it's going to be built into the, like my webcam is sitting on top of my Xbox now. And the webcam is so small. It would be something inbuilt and inside the machine, probably something it, like that. How, how is it going to be built in, though? 
surely it has to be connected via a cable so you can then have the flexibility yeah to it might it be i mean where you want you don't have to me. be like that wouldn't yeah, it? yeah i think it'd probably be maybe it's kind of attached and comes out of the side so basically it's connect 3.0 is that correct yes Probably. That's what we're quoting from Xbox yeah. Hub. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I like that. Yeah, but on the yeah. on the PS5 as well. That's the rumor. So that oh, right. that's just briefly because uh, we're, oh, we're, we've got eating time. Is mm-hmm. what do you think? Is there any? You know, we talked about games possibly for the next console on the first episode. But is there any other bits that you'd like to see? Almost hardware or in the actual program, remember it had all these different things like you could watch it links with your TV with the Xbox and all the entertainment stuff. Is there something you'd like to see in the new console? That's VR. Not... VR? Yeah, it should bring VR into the Xbox world. Ah, okay. Because we, I hear about VR all the time from yeah. certain people. Person. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it'd just be nice to know what it's like so actually have a VR thing with the Xbox. Oh, that's yeah. interesting, yeah. But but how important is VR to the PlayStation side of things? Is it really that big a deal? If you, I, I you ask. Yeah, of course it yeah, <laughs> of course it does. But as, as a whole, as a general thing. I don't VR, really think enough like it could have done. No. And, and I think that's probably one of the reasons why Xbox didn't Mac. just lump in and say, Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't bother, but it'd be a new experience, though, to the Xbox world. That's the only additional yeah. hardware that would make a big difference or any difference because we've done the connecting before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, and we've got like Google Assistant now as well, haven't we? And um, Alexa, oh, yeah. So you can hate, well, I can't say it. But... Because my uh, my Google Mini will kick off in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> It'll yeah. be, hey Dave, uh, yeah. uh, turn on my Xbox, and it does it. And yeah, yeah. at the moment, it's only in beta, but it, it works probably fifty percent of the time. I don't know if you've, you've reviewed to use Google Assistant no, or Alexa, right. but I'm I'm big on the 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 G side of it, and it. Like I say, it works, but only probably 50% of the time. So you'll ask it to turn it off, and it'll turn it off, and then you'll ask it to turn it back on again 30 seconds later. It'll say, oh, I, I can't see your Xbox One. It's not here. <laughs> well, I turned it off just a minute ago. <laughs> um, whereas going back again, when I had Connect on the top of my telly, it worked every single bloody time. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I think we, I we do miss that. That was good. It was brilliant. Yeah. I, I think, I was thinking about it just then. I, I think, I think there might be, this is a bit more about what's in the thing, I think there might be in the new console, both of them sort of almost editing software in there that people can take clips, add stuff to very quickly, record over very quickly, voiceover, almost like what we're doing with a podcast now when it goes through stuff and you can edit things. I think that's going to be part of that hardware system, I think. Yeah, there's a very simple one at the moment, isn't there? Yeah, there is, yeah, yeah. I, think well, be, I don't know the last time I used that. I think it'd just be linked into your social media stuff straight away. You know, it's all going to be, I think that might be something. They might go down that route a little bit. So it's instant. Yeah. It's not about on mix at the moment. I'll do a Let's Play on the thing and then I'll have to download it onto my laptop and then upload it to YouTube. I think all that would be instant. You can't... Um... You can't upload straight to YouTube, can you? From I don't think you can. Thinking. No, no but, that's all. But then Stadia is coming out, isn't it? Google Stadia. Yeah. And am I right in saying you can upload straight to YouTube oh, with I think that? You can. I think, yeah, I think you can. I think yeah. you can. It's, it's yeah. Google and Google, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. there's no reason why you wouldn't. No. So yeah. I'm quite looking forward to that. Actually, I've got the Founders Edition um, pre-ordered. When's that out? Uh, November, Ooh. sometime. I can't remember when exactly. Right. But, we're yeah. gonna, we're gonna I don't move. know when I'm, I, don't, I think it'll be much like James and his PlayStation. Yeah. There'll be no reason for it, mm. but it's just there and. Yeah. Put it in your Kickstarter draw. <laughs> <laughs> That's just got me thinking, actually. You remember um, Ouya? I got Ooh, on the Kickstarter oh, yeah. for Ouya. I got on the Kickstarter for Ouya <laughs> and yeah. um, used You're that. Maybe, that. <laughs> maybe twice. Ouya. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I got that last time. <laughs> Is that still going? <laughs> They're still making stuff. No, out. no, no. I think that's been killed oh, completely. So I've got, I've got the little box though. Oh, I'm looking at it right at this moment. So 
Yeah. Right, we've got to move. We've got to move on because we've we've been wrapping it on. We're going to do now. We're going to play uh, Judge Losty. And for those who don't know, Judge Losty has been a game we played from the start, where I select a month and a year. So it could be uh, January two thousand and eleven. And what Neil and what James have to do is they have to select a game on any console from that month, and they have a minute to pitch me, sell me the why that game is the best game of that month. And so we've done, in the first four episodes, we've done, I selected winners, and we're on two, two apiece, two all at the moment. That's and, right. And, we, what were the games? I can't remember. Oh, Assassin's right, Creed 2. Assassin's Creed 2. Um, that was for Honor. Honor. For that Honor. One? We've had... Uh, Rock Band. Rock Band 3. And what was the first one? Oh, Metro... Metro the Red Axe bundle thing, yeah. That's right. Yeah, it was a bit illegal, to be fair. Yeah, there was a bit of controversy from James. Only on James. It was all part. fine. Yeah, and um, so we're two apiece, and what we're going to do is we're going to play the final one now, and then we're going to end, we're going to call it the end of season one of that. And then we're, we're uh, Neil isn't here next week, so we're going to do something, a one-off next week, and then we're going to do season two, and we're going to change it over. It might be called Judge Neil or Judge James. If that makes sense. I just think we should call it the judge. The judge. I like it. The, the judge. Yeah. Yeah. It's me. We'll call it Judge Dredd. Uh, we'll, we'll, just call, we'll just call it the judge. Good. I yeah. like it. Yeah. Right. So who's going to go first? I'm going to go, go for Neil. James. As first, as you said, go on, Neil. That's what happened, Ned. You fit yourself yeah. into it. So the, the month and the year is April 2015. Now, I gave them this month in the year yesterday so I've had a bit of time to prepare but not why did you only give it to us yesterday I just just because I'm evil all right yeah but you announced them yeah I did I did a podcast I don't I wanted to keep it as a surprise this time oh okay and I forgot to announce the month of the year last year if you you want that's that's why if you want to go into the details I might have (laughs) forgot yeah Right, I've got my clock stop watch thing. Ready? Are we get ready to go, James? Yeah, when you are. Go. Well, back in April 2015, Mortal Kombat X became the tenth instalment of the gory fighting series and the first of the current gen. It signaled the start of a new era, boasting a healthy roster of 24 characters, each of which had different movesets, to ensure that encounters were a little bit more tactical. You had the old favourites like Sub Zero, Liu Kang, Johnny Cage. But there's a whole host of new faces. Like Ferrator, who was a tiny warrior um, group combination, and Cassie Cage. Um, these were introduced in a story mode. Um, and outside of that, you had Towers, Online Play. It was just a brilliant game overall, because no matter how good you were or bad, you could do all the facial moves and the extreme Stop. maneuvers. Good, yeah. good. Any, do you want to cross cross um, examine him on any of that, Neil? Um, much like the iPhone, is it Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat Ten? It's Mortal Kombat X for the purpose of this. I don't <laughs> know. For the purpose of your pitch. Is that what you're saying? It's so, so, so he's got the name wrong to start with. <laughs> but, um, I think it's X. We'll go with X. <laughs> I like the way you, you just listed lots of players, lots of things you are. That was good. I know. Yeah. I don't know flashbacks. It's the fatalities. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Oh, okay. Are the, are the fatalities just like I haven't played Mortal Kombat games for donkeys years? Yeah, are, they, are they just like they always you? Used to be, and yeah, just and, and worse. Are oh, they? They can be quite eye watering. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So, really. Oh, well, we, we've had a Mortal Kombat 11 since, haven't we? We have. Yeah. And Mortal Kombat X is on Game Pass, I think. Oh, well, there we Great go. Game. There we go. No, you don't. You, 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 you're working with the other team. Bruce no, and but yeah. he, he did all right. Yeah, all right, let's go. Right. I, I don't believe it's Mortal Kombat X. I want to go with Mortal Kombat 10. Okay. But I'm sure somebody will um, tweet in at the Xbox Hub. Yeah, they will. Or let us know on Facebook yeah. at the Xbox Hub. 
Very good, man. Very good. And, uh, yeah. and let us know, is it Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 10? Does it really matter? Is James about to lose when I put my pitch across? We'll find out now. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Go. So here's the last time I mentioned an Assassin's Creed game. I won this little competition. I feel it's only right to talk about AC Chronicles, namely the China release. Running is a complete different experience to the usual AC games that Ubisoft have already had huge success with. AC Chronicles China was the first for little trio of games that took the franchise to a different level. That level being one of side-scrolling 2.5D worlds. Working much like the brilliant Mark of the Ninja, the Chronicles trilogy certainly provided a different type of AC game. Whilst not everyone liked it, I did. And I have to applaud Ubisoft for allowing Climax Studios the opportunity to create it. The China edition took us to 1526 China as we stepped into the shoes of Xiao Zhong, who was looking to exact revenge against the Templars. Running left to right, moving in and out of the background and foreground, we left to utilise plenty of stealthy tactics, hiding in the shadows, and attacking any foes when the need should arise. Blades, rope darts, daggers. Stop! Oh. <laughs> You're always going over. How much more did you have? As three standalone titles in the AC series, the Chronicles <laughs> games. Oh my god! I'm just reading these with you. And in China, we were given a chance to use the series. He is! It's a location that we missed out. He's just running through the alone, AC Chronicles oh China should be god. the game of the month, April 2015. He's read his review out. This is what I was read. My bloody review. I wrote that about an hour ago. An hour ago? <laughs> my god. You're in better picking Gold Team Terrible choice. Oh. Uh, I was temp- no, 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 no. Even Brilliant. you said yourself, not everyone liked it. Not everyone did, but I did. Have and you, that's um, all that matters. Have you got any cross examinations there of that, of that, please? Yeah, I want to know more about it. I think you didn't say enough. I Have told you, it it's got blades, rope darts, daggers. We went to 1526 China. Did we you say games? Yeah, we had India and then Russia. Which was the they, best one? They were good too. I liked them, I liked them too. Uh, I don't know. I uh, should say China. China, uh, China was the best. Right, now. <laughs> uh. right. I've come to anyway, a decision. It was nice. Do you not think that it was nice to have the Chronicles games as, as like no. a little side thing I to the AC them. big open world? I hate them. No, they weren't. I'm going to go with Mortal Kombat X. I hate <laughs> both games, <laughs> but. Neil, I, I, you didn't convince me at all. I, I, uh, I'm yeah. afraid. I went over a bit. Right for winner. So, James is the season first season winner um, of the well done, James. The judge game. Well Thank done, you. Neil. Well done. I'm lucky. I'm lucky Neil. So, so the three games that won it were your three games were Rock Band, For Honor, For Honor. and Mortal Kombat X. Mortal Kombat X. Three cracking games. Which is the best? Right, man. Right, oh. For honour. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Very good, though. Well done. I'm oh, really good. Very close. I liked it. I'm looking forward to playing it myself. Yeah, um, well, you can. Yeah. I season know. two. Season two. Yeah. Season two. Yeah. It's only, yeah, only six ninety nine for season two. <laughs> 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 and you, you get all this new content. Yeah. Exactly. Who, who's going right? to be the judge? <laughs> I say James. Should we give James a judge? Yeah, James. Should be the judge. Judge James. Judge James. Season two. Yeah, enjoy this. Yeah, I yeah. like that. We'll do, we'll do that. Maybe we should change the rules. We could change the rules. You have a think about it if you want to. I can change the rules. Which I do right now. right now. Yeah. I'm in power. You are. Can we have like one minute ten seconds? <laughs> no, you're getting less time. Uh, maybe that's what we should do. Yeah, I think we should do yeah, that for, for anyone that pulls like a little trick. We should um, yeah, yeah, punish them the next week. Yeah, that's a good idea. Have uh, one sentence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Good. Now, before yeah, good. before Turned we up. go, we like that a lot. Um, let's just talk about what we're looking forward to in the next two weeks. Now, Neil won't be here next in the next two weeks. But what 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 games are you looking forward to, or anything you're looking forward to in the next couple of weeks? Who me? Yeah. Um. I want to play Ukulele and The Impossible Lair. I think that comes out uh, on the 8th. Right. 8th or 9th of October. And seeing as the other game's just gone into Game Pass, might as well have a little run through that first. Which one, what is um, The Impossible Lair? 
It's the second game. Ah, in, okay. In the series, right. so it's, it's another standalone title, having both Yuka and Laylee, yeah. and yeah. what other other characters are are around. But we 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 reviewed the original game. I think we gave it a five out of five. I think Richard did it. Okay. And Is your character called Trouser Snake. Trouser Snake, yeah. Trouser Snake. Yeah, it sounds yes. like the game. I think it's quite yeah. a, a good, fun little game. Yeah. Bring yeah. I look forward. I'm going to play the first one in the game pass. That's good, Trouser Snake. Yeah. That'd good. be cool. <laughs> he used to be called Trouser Snake, a pop star. That was his nickname. J- Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake, good. Thank you, Neil. We know our. I can't believe you knew that. <laughs> Straight away as well. Oh yeah, I don't know. why? Why do I know that? Without thinking, oh, yeah. you're giggling. I'm giggling. Trying to snake. Yeah. Um, just, just in um, incognito mode. James, what are you looking forward to? Uh, grid. Grid. Oh, oh yeah. Last time I played it, I was quite young, and I was a bit of a hothead. That's one word. There's another few words that I won't say. Um, but I was evil, pure uh, evil online. I would destroy everyone. First quarter. I didn't want to win, just kill. Okay. So it'd be nice to play it now a bit more mature. 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 Can, can we, in case anyone doesn't know what grid is, and you're you're saying I just want to kill, it it's a racing game. It's an arcade racing game. There's no guns. Yeah. There's nothing like that. It's just you in a yeah, car. Yeah, it's just a driving game. And but you the want car to kill. is your weapon. Um, uh, I don't think it is, to be honest. I'm not sure Codemasters have gone down that route with their, uh, their marketing. No, no. <laughs> Grid, the car, the is, car your is your weapon. That's a tagline. <laughs> it would sell if they put that as a tagline. The car is your weapon. That's for good, though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it, it does. does it it, it's a great blast in the past. We, um, I, I love the first game. We sent one of our guys to a preview event a couple of months ago. So oh, Darren yeah. to Cody's HQ, and he really, really liked it. Yeah. Um, if you want to read that, it's on the site on the yeah, Xbox Hub. Yeah, it's just, uh, just search Grid and you find it. There's a there's an interview that he did as well with, I think it's the creative director, someone yeah. along those lines. And also, there's a YouTube clip as well of the game page. Ah, it's yes, it's great. It's great. So it's yeah. worth checking that out on the on the it's YouTube the channel. Gameplay, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. it's amazing. Um, I'm going to look forward to trying four. Um, which is coming out. I did the did a little bit of a preview of that a long time ago. Um, and Try and Four is a little co-op puzzler. That's oh, this beautiful. Games. Yeah, it's beautiful. Well, we're going to do a review for that next week, I think, aren't we? Do you think you have to have played Try and One, Two, and Three? Because no, I haven't. Not at all. You don't. It doesn't make any difference. I mean, there's a story there, but it doesn't. It's it's on its own. It's fine. Okay. It's the same sort of three characters, but you don't have to. Definitely don't have to do that. Is there, is there quite a lot of puzzles going to be in it? Yeah. Is it mainly a puzzle game or is it adventure? No, it's an adventure, really. It's a puzzle adventure. Oh. There's a bit of fighting in it as well. Um, yeah, it's, but it's great to kind of just be in that little world. And it's a really beautiful kind of like, I was going to say childish world, but it's not a child. It's a fantasy, fantasy, yeah. nice fantasy world that you can just spend some time. It looks, it looks great, isn't it? Fantastic, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's no out. Def, no death and destruction like in Grid then. No, I'm sure I can find some. No, it's not. It's not a weapon. Trying is your weapon. That's what we're going to be the <laughs> tagline for every game. <laughs> and there's Ghost Recon coming out as well next week. I'm not. It's, no, 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 it's out. Oh, it's out. Well, it? it's it's out really? on oh, Ultimate the Ultimate Gold Edition. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. This. yeah. But I think as this will go live, the standard out. edition will be be out as well. So, yeah, and in Ghost Recon, time. you do have a weapon. And that weapon is your weapon. <laughs> yeah. You've got a weapon that's a weapon. <laughs> that weapon is Unless your weapon. Unless you're Gareth. You might as well not have one. <laughs> yeah. Or, or just pick any old one. As I, like a a as I said before, limping is my weapon. That's what I'll be doing in Ghost Recon, <laughs> limping. From Playing dead. Shot. Playing dead, yeah. <laughs> right, on that note, we have talked for a long time. But it's been a pleasure, as always, gents. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very yeah, much. Right. And Neil, we'll see you in a month. Time. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm skipping the next one because um, EGX is coming. Oh, that's right. So um, I need to prepare myself to queue up and sorry, prepare myself oh. to queue jump. Yeah, that's the words I'm looking good. for. Yeah. 
Um, I don't want to queue. If, if you see me, Jax, don't let me queue. I don't like queuing. Just let me in. Yeah. That's all I want. And if you want to buy me a Subway or something for lunch, that'd be cool as well. <laughs> Good. We'll do that. And I'll see you at EGX as well. Um, you, yes. Yes, yeah. I'll see you there. See you yeah. there. We're, we're doing a podcast no. there, aren't we? We are going to do some kind of podcast there. <laughs> <laughs> we, we shall chat about that. We'll chat. Maybe we do something. Yeah. yeah. We're going oh. to sit in the press toilets and have a chat. Oh my god, what kind of podcast is that? Right, I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> right, good. Well, thank you again, gentlemen. And uh, we'll see you next next time, in two weeks' time. Cheers, see you later. Bye-bye. 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 You've been listening to the official podcast of the xboxhub.com. We had found all the notes of the show at www.thexboxhub.com slash podcast. You can also check out our social feeds Instagram and Twitter at the Xbox Hub and search the Xbox Hub on Facebook.